colleges across America continue to escalate. Students are calling on their universities to cut ties with Israel over the war in Gaza. Overnight, police in New York City arrested 300 protesters at Columbia University. And at UCLA, 15 people were injured when protesters and counter-protesters came to blows. Hours later, the police response is now being questioned. ABC's Tim Pulliam has more. Outrage less than a day after violent unrest erupted for hours on UCLA's campus. Protesters using planks of wood as weapons and fireworks launched into the encampment. The LAPD was called in after pro-Israel counter-protesters surrounded the pro-Palestinian encampment. But now an independent investigation underway to find why law enforcement and campus security didn't act sooner. And last night I went to bed at around 4 a.m. with student blood on my hands. And I'm not speaking figuratively. I mean, a student collapsed into my hands with blunt force trauma and mace in their eyes, and I had to treat them. People are colonized. In New York City, new protests popping up at Fordham University, the school asking the NYPD for help. At City College, officers moving in to break down tents and making arrests. And new videos showing the NYPD taking back a Columbia University building occupied by dozens of protesters. New York's mayor blaming outside agitators for training and leading students who broke in and seized that building. There is a movement to radicalize young people, and I'm not going to wait until it's done and all of a sudden acknowledge the existence of it. Tonight, more campus protests from Wisconsin to Arizona. Anger escalating on all sides. And the clock is ticking for demonstrators to remove their encampments at UCLA. The school now plans to dismantle it. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.